As I Dying was copyright uh, 1930 by William Faulkner. And the, to set the scene, uh, the story is one of the Bundren family. The, in the book, Faulkner is attempting to explore the fragility of life and identity. And using this family for that purpose, he, um, he sets a scene with the mother of the family passes away. And the Bundren family are transporting her by mule-drawn wagon across uh, Mississippi in the summertime. She was not embalmed, uh, so the body is in a state of decay. They're traveling at an excruciatingly slow pace, and there are vultures circling above the wagon as they travel. So this is a, a scene that Faulkner does so well in setting with his language, his ability to create atmosphere. I'm reading from page 107. Tall is in his lot. He looks at us, lifts his hand. We go on, the wagon creaking, the mud whispering on the wheels. Vernon still stands there. He watches Jewel as he passes, the horse moving with a light, high-kneed driving gait 300 yards back. We go on with a motion so soporific, so dreamlike as to be uninferent of progress, as though time and not space were decreasing between us and it. It turns off at right angles, the wheel marks of last Sunday healed away now, a smooth red scoriation curving away into the pines, a white signboard with faded lettering, New Hope Church, three miles. It wheels up like a motionless hand lifted above a profound desolation of the ocean. Beyond it, the red road lies like a spoke of which Addie Bundren is the rim. It wheels past, empty, unscarred. The white signboard turns away its fading and tranquil assertion. Cash looks up the road quietly, his head turning as we pass it like an owl's head, his face composed. Pa looks straight ahead, humped. Dewey Dell looks at the road too, then she looks back at me, her eyes watchful and repudiant. Not like that question which was in those of Cash for a smoldering while. The signboard passes, the unscarred road wheels on, then Dewey Dell turns her head, the wagon creaks on. 